I want you to tell us how many batteries actually go into a Tesla vehicle and get into the raw material part of how much EVs in terms of mineral intensive they are compared to combustible engines and things like that. But look at the facts and figures, you understand a lot of this stuff isn't as clean as you think, right? Yeah, the challenge with them is the fuel is not very dense. And by that, I mean on a energy per weight basis, Frank, there's not much density in a battery, a lot more density in liquid fuels like gasoline and diesel. So that means you have to have a lot of weight, fuel weight in the car to do what gasoline would do, a thousand pounds in a battery. Now I say a battery, it's really a pack of batteries. Think of, well, on the big ones, the big sedans, think of a thousand cell phones in one car. And that's kind of your little EV, a Tesla S, the big sedan has about six to 7,000 cell phones in one car, and that's a lot. So if there are 1.4 billion vehicles in the world today, and vehicle cars and scooters and anything with a battery and a motor is called a vehicle, but let's say 1.4 billion. We've electrified about 60 to 65 million so far. There's a lot more to go depending on where you wanna push that. But start doing math, a billion vehicles, 5,000 to make it simple is 5 trillion new batteries. And in 15 or 20 years, they wear out. You have to make them over and over. So this is not a sustainable thing in the classic sense that people might think.